Hello friends, in this video we will see how to print the notes in the list. So when we are given a linked list, we are given just a reference to its head node. So we have a list And the next of last node will be null and we are given reference to head that is the first node. So to print the list we can create a node and make it point to head and while this is not null so initially we will see that it's not null if it's not null then make n equal to its next so you should remember the structure of the node the structure had two elements the first we called data and the second we called next pointer which is pointer to a node struct so we will keep updating till it's not null so so this will now point to 2 again it's not null so it will move here again not null and while iterating we will also be printing here So, print its data and move it to next. And this is conditioned over. n is not equal to null so initially n is pointing to head so it will print 1 so 1 is printed and n is updated to 2 so now n is moved to 2 again n is not null so it will print 2 and move it to 3 again this is not null so print 3 and move it to its next and its next is null so now it will become null after printing 3 and this condition will not be satisfied and it will exit the loop and it will stop here so it will print 1 2 and 3 all the elements of the list so let's see this in the code and we will be given reference to head and to separate the elements we I will use one this arrow to make it more visually correct okay so it will keep printing the data and update the current to next
and in the end it will add arrow after the last element also so I will add null here Okay, so earlier I was using manually printing it so I will now use this API to print the list okay and let's see what it prints so it prints the same thing 321 that we were printing manually so in this lecture we saw how to print the elements of the list so we have to iterate through all the elements and keep printing them till we reach the end so again this will be order n complexity where n is the number of elements in the list so thanks for watching